Does that ring a bell with you? Is talking with one another always loving one another? If not, what do you do? Will you pay back with their same weapons? Or will you simply consider him a lost cause? If that's an issue really worth fighting for, there are other actions to escape this vicious circle. Let's see how violence works. An oppressor controls the situation by two means, creating an environment of fear to ensure the other's obedience and animalizing the opponent to justify with impunity any action. Choosing active nonviolence deconstructs this mechanism, includes bearing the consequences of our initiative so as to dismantle submission, Creative actions with a surprise effect, aiming to touch the other's heart, are going to open cracks in any shells because they show human dignity. Finding humanity in our opponent comes through an inner nonviolent battle, before and during the nonviolent action. Whoever does not do it ends up paying back violence. We are not just talking about big international conflicts or national ones, but also small family, neighborhoods, social, school, workplace conflicts. How do we create audacious responses to unblock such situations? Weapons are the tools of cowards who don't feel capable of defending their beliefs with their own authenticity. Nonviolence is for brave people. You move nonviolence.